September the de deportation of a student activist as the country marks 40 years since a brutal massacre of its own students. Joshua Wong was sent back to Hong Kong yesterday after being detained at the airport for several hours and a warning this report from Southeast Asia correspondent Liam Cochran contains some disturbing images. At dawn they honoured the dead. Activists of the 70s and current students remembered one of Thailand's darkest days. But a student activist from Hong Kong has been prevented from taking part. I feel hopeless, scared and tired. Joshua Wong was held for 12 hours at Bangkok's Savannapurm Airport before being sent home. He's one of the students who led protests calling for greater democracy in Hong Kong. I think Beijing will be the important factor or the motivator for Thai government to detain me at the airport. I just hope that the Thai government respect democracy, freedom and human rights is the trend of the world already. Thailand's Prime Minister says now is not the right time to have democracy activists speaking out in his country. He flew into Bangkok. It's China's internal business. Hong Kong is the same as China. We didn't deport him. Chinese officials took him back. Freedom of expression has often been hard to come by in Thailand. In 1973, students were hailed as heroes for leading a democracy movement. But exactly 40 years ago, the military hit back, attacking students at Thammasat University, accusing them of being communists. We thought that the walls of the university can protect us. Surat Shah Bumram Sukh was sent out to negotiate but was promptly arrested and jailed for two years on treason charges. Four decades on, the anniversary brings painful memories of a young friend lost. If you look for the picture, the one that was hanged as an Anru, that him, that him. Many of the students' bodies were never recovered. Many families still wonder. Tributes like this are rare. This is a memorial site for the students who lost their lives on the 6th of October. You can see that it says, In memory of democratic hero, that name is Chai Amon Kun. It's thought more than 100 people were killed that day, shot, lynched, raped, burnt alive and beaten to death, all watched by a bloodthirsty mob. The massacre has largely been buried in Thai history. This campus was the scene of the bloodshed right in the middle of Bangkok. And yet many young Thais don't know what happened here. I have learned in, in school, but I already forgot. I was not born yet. It was about the constitution. In Bangkok, a challenging work of physical theatre is trying to make people remember. To make the people go back and read and study and make this is a lesson. We need to listen, otherwise everything, the violence, is going to come back. It's true that now, for the anniversary of the October the 6th, we still have the history government in Bangkok. It looks like that the history go back again and again. Those who witnessed the massacre hope a new generation will carry on the struggle for democracy despite the risks. Liam Cochran, ABC News, Bangkok.